consumers are kind of a pain. I don't know if you've noticed this at all. I, I personally have, I am the customer guy and I, I say very bad things about customers because customers and patients today want what they want, when they want it, where they want it, as effortlessly, immediately, consistently, personally, and of course, memorably as possible. Wow, that's, uh, that's pretty overwhelming and daunting. That's completely unreasonable. How is it that we're supposed to provide what people want, when they want it, where they want it, effortlessly, immediately, consistently, personally, and memorably? It's wrong. Totally wrong. I, I, I realized that the other day I was with my son. He is, he's 25. He was visiting my home, and he was at my microwave, and he's just like pounding my microwave. I'm like, what is your problem, Andrew? And he goes, geez, Dad, I don't have all minute. I'm like, wow, I'm really... So I've raised such a mature young man. I'm so proud of myself as a dad right now. Um, that's so wrong, right? But then when we step out of the provider role, just moments later, and we step into the role of expecting, wanting, needing, desiring a product or service from someone else, this is wholly reasonable. I totally get it then. Then as the consumer, as the patient, I say, why can't they do this? Starbucks can. Why can't they do it? Mercedes can. Why can't they do it? Ritz Carlton would have anticipated my need. These fools can't even fulfill it when I say it, let alone can they infer it. And realistically, we all are willing to expect it and have been conditioned to expect it, but the demands on providing it are increasingly challenging.